Welcome back to the video. Today we have the Supra Enzo, the Trident Horizon, and the Jackal Flash, all in a comparison against each other. I chose these three balls because they are A, in the current product line for motive bowling, B, the Trident Horizon is a, or a uh, hybrid, and so is the Supra Enzo, but in my opinion the Supra Enzo plays more like a pearl, which is where the Jackal Flash comes into play. I would have liked to do a comparison against the original Supra, but the original Supra is no longer in the ball chart. So, all three of these balls are available on the website, and you can get them through your favorite provider if you want to go online, or your brick and mortar shops should all have the availability to be able to get all of these balls. So without further ado, hop right into the video. So now this is kind of set up like a normal ball review for me. We're going to start in the 8, 9, 10 zone for all three balls. And then we're just going to keep moving left. And as we go left, we're going to see what each ball really has in each zone. Um, this was shot on a fairly used house shot because, in my opinion, that's when these balls are going to look the best. Um, I shot the benchmark battleground video before this video so there's some pretty decent play plus there was open bowling on it before I filmed that video so it's pretty well burned at this point and I'm doing everything in my power to get these to stay as straight as they are This is also a great way for you guys to work on your own game in the downtime. Um, just pick one ball and move across the lane with it. Try to manipulate your own hand position and ball speed to try to make that ball strike from anywhere on the lane. That will help you in more ways than just your ability to manipulate hand position, but then it will give you the ability to see what you need to change to make something work on sport conditions or offer patterns if that's where you want to take your bowling career. For this video, my average ball speed for zone 1 was 17.2 miles an hour. Zone 2 was about 16 and a half. Zone 3 dropped all the way down to about 15.3 I think it was. And then as I get into zone 4, it dropped to about 14.8 miles an hour. With what I'm seeing out of these three balls so far, the Horizon is definitely the earliest, which it has the strongest hybrid cover on it and the strong asymmetric core, the Trident core, I believe. Sidewinder core. It has the Sidewinder core in the Trident Horizon, which is the same as the Trident Nemesis that Motive claimed was the most angular ball that they've ever produced. Which, as we're getting a little bit farther left, what my eyes are seeing is that the um, Super Enzo, other than that one, was, is the most continuous through the three of them. Which, as you get left, the asymmetric cores are going to have a tendency to roll out. But, I don't think that either of the other two made bad shape. It just deflected a little bit more than the Enzo. Just a little disclaimer, just because I'm saying that the Super Enzo continues more doesn't mean that the asymmetric balls don't continue. 
continuation is all dependent on what angle of rotation you had when you released the ball. The ball speed itself, did like did you give it time for the ball to even read the lane or does it not even hook? And B, does it set up and get into a roll before it enters the pocket? Because if it doesn't, it's just going to deflect horribly. And if it does, well, you're going to have continuation. That's that's the general philosophy of how continuation works. So now as we're getting into zone four, I'm getting a little bit more loft on the ball. As you can see, I'm releasing it at the left gutter and left of the left gutter. Um, you really get to see how clean the Supra Enzo actually is. Because this is the Jackal Flash, big asymmetric pearl. And it does the job all right. Like, I could play the Jackal Flash from this far left, but the Supra Enzo just seems like I have to work so much less to get the ball to cover that many boards. Which, granted, right there, I almost pocket 710, but these next two, I made sure to grab that one, and it goes through the face. But at the same time, when you get this far left, no matter what you're bowling on, your speed control still has to be pretty good, even though I'm lofting the left gutter. And then now you really see the difference in this one with the Trident Horizon. It just burns too much energy and rolls forward off the end, which is why it deflected so badly. So hopefully I gave enough of an explanation or the video speaks for itself. And hopefully you guys want to go pick up one of these three balls at your local pro shop today. As always guys, may the carry be in your favor and bowl well.